YouTube, what's going on? Welcome back to the channel. If you have not subscribed, go ahead and subscribe right now. Lots of content coming for you guys, especially from uh, folks out there trying to get home workouts in during this quarantine, COVID-19 pandemic. Turn your notifications on because the videos are coming more frequently now, all right? And we're all in need of those extra ways in order to build muscle, get toned, lose weight, eat right. There's a lot of things that we need to perfect in no time to slack. It's more time to be productive. Do not miss any of the uploads, guys. And follow me on Instagram to xfactor underscore fitness. I have lots of advice as far as working out, as far as dieting goes on that social media platform as well. So subscribe, turn notifications on, and follow me on Instagram. So for this video today, I'm bringing you guys another backpack workout. Not all of us have the access to weights as far as dumbbells goes, plates for the barbells, resistance bands, but everybody should own a backpack. So what I did for this workout is I took a case of water, 24, 16.9 fluid ounces bottles of water, and I threw them inside the backpack, all right? Gave it a lot of weight. So the key with these backpack workouts is to load up the backpack with, with as much weight as you can handle in order for you to get that extreme pump with your workouts, with your exercises, okay? It's all about progressive overload and you wanna load up the backpack to make sure that when you resistance train, you are forcing your muscles to work, forcing your muscles to grow, and just forcing blood all throughout the entire body, all right? So this is a full body workout. Load up your backpack and let's get to work. So what I like to do starting out with my full body workouts is always train legs first, all right? I start with lower body. Think about when you build in the house. Are you going to start with the roof or are you gonna start from the ground up? So that's the same thing as when you're building your body and really trying to get after it, all right? Legs first, I target the lower body with the calves, all right? So the first thing I did was a front squat. I put the backpack in front of me. This is gonna simulate a barbell, all right? So the focus here is trying not to tip over when you're squatting down into your seated position, all right? Similar to having a barbell, you know that barbell starts to hurt. So this is actually a real good uh, alternative for the front squat. Put the backpack in front of you, squat down really, slow and controlled when you raise back up go ahead and squeeze those glutes as best you can and this right here is going to get that blood flow in the body blood flow in the legs and we all know when we train legs our temperatures in our body tends to rise so this is a great start to the workout all right so let's go ahead and knock that out and then following that we we'll go ahead and jump into some calf raises squeezing those calves on the way up relaxing on the way down squeezing on the way up all right got to get those calf raises and you got to get that lower body for the quads, the hamstrings, and the glutes. Next up, we gotta target that core. All right, working our way up, okay? So lower body was targeted a little bit in the front squat, and it's also gonna be hit a little bit with these uh, with these reverse crunches. So these are reverse crunches here. So with these reverse crunches, I'm simply holding the backpack over my head, all right? That weight is gonna force me to stabilize my upper body. It's gonna force me not to move any of my upper body, really focus on holding that weight up, all right? The key with these core exercises is to keep your core tight. Notice how I'm getting a nice little hip raise on the way in when I'm really bringing my knees to my chest. This is targeting the lower abdominal area and overall core simply because we're holding this weight over our head. So take your time with these and do not drop that backpack on your forehead. All right. Next up, we have our favorite, which is back. I love training back. There's a lot of exercises that we can do to target the back, and this is one right here. So this right here is what we call a lawnmower row. If you have ever cut the grass, ever started up a lawnmower, you will notice that from looking at this exercise, it looks as if I'm starting the lawnmower. You're simply bringing that book bag in front of you and then pulling back, trying to engage nothing but your lower lats. But what's gonna happen is, on your way up, once you get that real squeeze and take it even a little further past your torso, that upper back is going to get hit all right so traps are engaged this the total upper back is getting destroyed with these lawnmower rolls all right so like i said just pull through slowly thinking about those lats and then even take it a step further go past your torso with your elbow and really squeeze those traps all right so the upper back should be destroyed after this we're doing each side left and right and I may not have spoke about it earlier, but every exercise is going to be 20 reps, all right? Nothing less, nothing more, 20 reps, all right? We're really getting this volume in. We're really touching into the hypertrophy of this training. Hey, 
All right, now it's time to tax on those shoulders, all right? So for the shoulders, we're doing the book bag swing. Notice how it's similar to a kettlebell swing or a dumbbell swing. So with this movement, although we're swinging our arms up really in that front raise, at the top of the movement, we really wanna go a little bit higher and really focus on actually raising the, the book bag up, all right? Really forcing us to use nothing but our, our front deltoids, our forearms to get that book bag up, all right? So go ahead and swing on the way down, swing, use some momentum on the way up, and then once you get to the top of the movement, slow it down and force it up some more, okay? So this, what this is gonna do, as, as you notice, your quads are being tense throughout this whole movement because you're doing a slight squat, okay? So your lower body is gonna be activated in this, but your core in total is gonna be hit, but we really wanna focus on that front deltoid, all right? So like I said, make sure you take it a step further and really raise that book bag up. Try to get it a little over your head and really exaggerate the movement. All right, now we're up with the chest, all right? Gotta get your chest in. We're moving all the way up through the body, all right? So now we're at the chest. So notice how I'm doing a nice glute bridge raise right here with my hips, all right? Like a hip thrust. Keeping my hips high throughout this whole entire movement is going to simulate a decline type of a press, all right? So my body is in a decline position and I'm simply pushing the book bag up as if I'm on the barbell, all right? So a decline barbell press. This is the decline book bag press. Same thing, you're squeezing at the top of that movement, really engaging those pecs. This is real good for your lower chest, but your overall chest is gonna get hit, guys, but with this exercise, you will primarily target that lower chest, all right? This is how you're gonna help and get your chest to sit up higher, as I know you all want, all right? Squeeze the pecs. It's very important to squeeze. It's very important in every exercise that we do that we exaggerate the contractions and really squeeze, all right? All right, last two exercises we got today are for the arms. I hope you guys didn't think we was gonna forget about arms, all right? So I'm hitting the biceps first. Standard standing bicep curls, all right? Using this book bag. So I'm holding both straps, and when I'm raising up, I'm slightly turning my wrist to where my pinkies are, are raising the ceiling. This is a supinated position for the wrist, and this is gonna allow you to get that real nice squeeze in the bicep, all right? So make sure you retract your scapula, meaning pulling your shoulders back, standing up tall, and really squeezing on the way up all right you got to exaggerate this as well now we're doing 20 reps all right so after you get to your second or third round your arm should be taxed all right so you really got to fight to get that weight up but it's worth it all right so this is your standing bicep curl and then to finish off, of course, we gotta hit some tricep. We're gonna do a French press variation, gold crush variation. This is not gonna be an easy or a comfortable movement right here, simply because the backpack is just a little bit uneven, okay? So you really gotta think about your triceps when you're hitting this and really try to stay as safe as possible. So similar to a skull crusher as if you're laying down or a French press if you're standing up. We're on our knees right now and we're simply bringing our forearms down and raising up, squeezing nothing but the tricep, all right? Like I said, this is gonna hurt, or at least it did for me. So like I said, just make sure you're staying safe with, with all of these movements because you do not wanna get hurt. I see a lot of people getting hurt out there trying to do some creative, innovative type of things when it comes to working out. But we wanna keep it a little bit simple and we wanna avoid getting too risky with the movements. So this is gonna hurt a little bit on your shoulders, put like a nice little strain on the shoulders, but you can eliminate some of that with based off of the load of the backpack and also how low you take your forearms when you're dropping down, really trying to stretch that tricep. All right, guys, that's it for the workout. I hope you guys enjoyed this backpack workout. I gave you another one. I'm gonna link it right here. I'm gonna also put it down in the description box. That is the first book bag workout that I gave with different exercises. And this right here is the second one with a whole complete turn on the exercises, really taking it to a more advanced level, all right? Get the work in, guys. We gotta stop the excuses. Again, I hope you guys enjoyed this workout. Comment below if there's any other workouts that you would like to see. I'm here for you guys and I wanna make sure I'm creating videos that you guys are liking, videos that are helping you guys, because that's what it's all about, all right? It's all about me giving you a little bit of advice, giving you a little insight on how I'm training and how I'm staying fit during this quarantine, all right, with these home workouts. So subscribe if you have not already, turn the notifications on, like the video, share the video, follow me on Instagram, xfactor underscore fitness. I'm still doing online coaching, so you can go ahead and shoot me an email, xfactorfitness3 at gmail.com, and I'm sure I'm gonna get back to you guys. I'm gonna help you guys out as best as I can, all right? So thank you guys for rocking with me. Thank you guys for watching this video, and I'm gonna catch you in the next one.